All right, shalom, everybody. As Joe likes to say, the greatest book ever. So this Bible has the the map, the plan. If you know, you would have took the time to read this, we would have seen the plan long ago. Uh, I want to start off by saying, uh, sincerely, this is to the leadership of the Moabites, and this is to everyone with NAPRO. Uh, I want to start off with uh, earlier, my last video, I mentioned uh, when we get into Isaiah 15 and 16, uh, you know, in my heart, I know I'm waiting for something. Psalm 60 is read, Moab is the pot of my hope, right? That's a code. What is the pot? The pot is Bashan. Is giving you Bashan. You know what that means. The Salt Lake. You know what the deal is. We merge. This is what it says. We don't accept none of your shit, none of your worship other gods. You don't hold our children. Under any circumstance. Now, first thing I have to say, I want to say these people that say race riots, whether they're black or white, that they're not for the population, they're not for society, they're not for people with heartbeat. You do not see white people killing Asian, Asians. You don't see them killing Mexicans. If black people broadcast, knock out another nation, it's on TV showing how evil black people are. It is not a race war. It is all nations against the Afro. Let me make this very clear. When the shit hits the fan, you will have people that you were told were black, but you were told were African American. So when you look at the dash last name, it's Brahmin surname. Brahmin is what? Belong to the Kang Khan. See, they taught you Khan means yes. Khan don't mean no goddamn yes. Khan mean can mean king. He who can preserve food for the people that need it. Right? And so y'all sitting there saying Khan when you're just saying Canaanite shit. Khan Yak. Ubjia. Origin. So when you type in Stacy Dash and look at her dad, and you type in Damon Dash. And look at his dad, Robert Dash. They're fucking what? West Bengal. That means the Brahmin people have been pushed to West Africa. So when they say African Americans, they're goddamn talking to them. And of course, the Moabites that were from Africa. Not necessarily the Moabites that were from Germany. Or anywhere else in Europe. So everybody that sees this video should clearly understand when people say race riots, they are tricking you. It ain't other races versus each other. It's other races in cooperation against you. Now, any other time, what do they call that? A conspiracy. Now that 
They're publicly telling you it's a conspiracy. They're making statements that they're going to defund the police. You think that's a good thing. When they defund the police, who's going to arrest the white man that shot the black jogger? When the police are defunded and the police, the race warrior, was hiding behind the badge, he's just going to go right back to being your fucking neighbor. With all the training you paid him to have to use against you. You've seen these people actively work together to destroy the stores that you get food from. Actively work together. Pile into your areas. So business is safe. Ooh, it seems unsafe to operate. So we're going to shut down and not sell. You've seen different ethnicities openly say, if you come and shop in our area, that means just act normal. They'll hurt you or harm you. Now everyone's acting like there's a food scarce. And if somebody comes and spends their money in your community like they've been doing before, like they were encouraged, now I'll fucking kill you. I'll kill your black ass if you come into this community and try to spend under the false premise that you're just a thief. This is the same thing when you go to a dollar store and they say, you can't have a bag because if you grab a product and they see you trying to put it in your bag on camera, which looks utterly fucking ridiculous, hmm? the same rule as Wild West, you, Wild West in a saloon. Leave your bag at the door leave your gun at the door of the saloon and same thing the dollar store to leave your bag at the door or with the attendant so now they're claiming re they're going to take responsibility for your belongings hmm? now them setting your stuff behind the counter as if it's just a safe vault Right? And you let them do this. You let them do this. And this is what it's come to. Now black people are crying because they pushed an old white man over. That's their own people. What are you going to do? You can't protect your own and you're worried about other people. People are openly, publicly saying in all these videos, we're going to take them out. Each time you're slaughtered in the street, somebody mocks. Somebody's mocking Trayvon Martin. Somebody's mocking this person, that person. Comedians, if you say I can't breathe, that means you're still breathing, right? Ha 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 still dead, right? Ha <laughs> Who's gonna get blamed for all this? Boy? The individual or the system that is being run in secret. Who's gonna have to deal with this on Judgment Day, Moab? We can get into this all day, man. Another time. Over a campfire, maybe. The army that you have to work with is pathetic. Again, you're listed in Psalms 83, but all these people that you've worked hard to make them strong to oppress us, now they're extorting you that's what it says in the bible well, what's they be extorting you with hmm? the secret of who the children are bro it's over you guys need to have your fucking meeting and you need to start telling people the truth
or you're going to have a shitty army. And, and, it, and it's, it's, it, you're not going to blame me. All of our food sources are all but exterminated. I was talking to a man in Georgia. He said he lives in a very nice area. Three Walmarts within 20 minutes each, right? All boarded up. Why? Because people that don't look like you own those stores and they shut down those food sources because those were the well-off people with afros. Soon, your army will be starving while the other nations, what are they going to do? They're going to eat just fine. They're well armed. Hmm? They're going to act like thug niggas and lock it down. So our people can't eat. This is what you've done. With all your master masonry. Is it? You sit right now, you sit as mayors, captains, chiefs. You're the ones that decide these white people go into the black areas. You're the ones that decide this. See? Now, what does the snake do? It eats itself. What does the dragon do? It eats itself. That's the key to Leviathan. You ain't got to fucking stab Leviathan. You got to trick Leviathan into eating itself. What did it trick you into do? Eat yourself. Now you done saved up all those riches and now they're extorting you. Just chipping away every month. Just like you did to them. Just chipping away. And of course, Moab has the evidence that the more men are the Philistines. This is why that we're told in, in what Leviticus, no, excuse me, in uh, Lamentations, don't go back to Salt Lake, Israelites, right? Because what? Ooh. Fair kinds of weight. All right. So we're not supposed to go back to Utah. But who's giving Utah? Huh? Who's giving Utah? Oh, probably the Moors from what these scriptures say. But we'll get to that. And it says, my last note is, what is this all about? And this seems to be the slaughter of the bloodline of, of the prince. When your king thought cause and effect, because these three nations went against you, Israel, Judah, Edom, Mesha slaughtered his son. So, you want the seat? We're just giving you the seat. And what does it say? It says what? Moab is the pot. What is the pot? It's the wash bin. Bashan. Of my hope. What is the hope? Well, everybody can open their phone. They can open that Google Maps, right? And they can go over to Utah. And they can go. Let's see what's the best way to do it. You want Zion Park? Okay. Now just type in Zion, zoom out. Then we'll show you. 
nice map. You'll see Zion Park. You'll see Zion River. You see that red dot? That's what you want. Above Zion River Resort. Okay. Next to Zion Park. Right? I'm gonna zoom in. See that? See what happens when I click on it? Hop Valley Trailhead. That's the Valley of Hope. With the E not placed there. Because that leads to what? And on the other side is what was extended to the wilderness by Obama. So, once you start understanding what all these words are, the codes, shit ain't no secret. You're keeping it. But you taught this to all the fucking white people that have the gun. But you didn't teach this to the Afro people that will be your army. This is why I say your army is pathetic. My people died from the lack of knowledge, and your people were what? Say that they're smarter, so they should command them. They should lead them. Farrakhan up here talking about the Exodus has begun. Is not he children of Benami? Does he not uh, uh, worship the universal God, which is his forefather, Amun? So why is he talking about the Exodus? He's not worried about the Exodus. He's using us as a threat to the military. So Moab, you have a choice. It's time to start talking. You know how the Most High works. You have to know why you're going to die before you die. You have to tell these people who's who. Let me show you why. Because it says here that yeah, what? I will stretch my shoe. That's his foot. So put the foot in somebody's ass. What? Into Edom, I will stretch out my shoe. He's going to put his foot in the ass of Texas. To me, the foreigners are made subject. Who is that? Moab. My pot of hope. On the Edom, I will stretch out my shoe. My foot. Huh? Who will bring me into the strong city? What's the strong city? Huh? Pot. What is a pot? It's a cauldron. What's it made of? Metal. What's the strongest material we have? Metal. Don't say plastic. Don't bullshit yourself. So, what was it saying 15? Well, we will cover this with Joe. But it's the burden of Moab. Oh, oh, oh! Woo, boy! Y'all got a covenant with the Most High. Hmm? So, when we examine this covenant, it's going to say your cities are destroyed. You know what happens. All these cities, it's a trade. All these cities will crumble to shit. Because you're going to get a new city. All your people will be out in the street fucking crying and moaning. Because you left them ignorant. You left them unprotected. And while you've been extorted, you didn't even fucking... Do anything to pull your people in and tell them what was going on. You didn't militarize them. And 
and not my fault. We'll cover the cities. We'll cover what we're about to be seeing. I'm going to show how all these people being cut the fuck down. And all these payouts. I'm going to show how all at least the 15 and 16. I just need some assistance. So. And in 16, it says, hide the outcasts. Be, what? Be ray not him that wandereth. Mm. See? And the fords of Arnon, oh, we know where that is. Because I'm a hoe, you know I'm a hoe, out of hoe. It just takes a moment, right? And I want to tell you, if you fuck this up, the Most High going to play a song for you. Let me show you. Let me show you. See, here's a trade. Let me find it real quick so you see it for yourself. Hmm? You want the tabernacle of David. That's what this is all about. I think you want it all. I think you want those inbred Mormon bitches too. It says here you're going to get it. And you're only going to do that in truth. That's touchy for you guys. Now, that's the trade. And you know it. Now, anybody that's watching knows it. And this is what he says. Because you're going to get selfish. Right? So what's going to happen? Wherefore, my bowels shall sound like a harp for Moab. You understand that, right? Now, your covenant down at the bottom, no one can interfere with that except for you. That means the good Moabites got a chance. That means the, the wicked Moabites, just like wicked Israelites, have the opportunity to repent. Now look at that. Look at that. Now, this is all up to you, because clearly the people are going to hit the road soon. They will be the ones that wander it. Oops, scroll back up it. Do not betray the people during their exodus when you have the means. See, this is what all, all this is about. Greed and gluttony. What is greed? Me, 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 me. What is gluttony? 
What is that fault? Under. What is greed and gluttony fall under? It is under pride. The burden, your promise versus your pride. Do you understand from man? I hope so. No. From what has just been said, my number is public. We'll see what you decide. Shalom to all.